So going back to our library, if I search for a device that I know doesn't exist in my library, um, I've picked this device on purpose because I know it's got a nice 3D model that we can take a look at as well. So here you can see I've typed in 91228 and it's filtered my library. Nothing exists in my library with that name. So what I can do now is I can click on this globe icon. This is going to take us to one of our EKIPS, Electronic Component Information Partners. Okay, in this instance, we're using Symaxis. Here you can see, if I, this is a web page, so I can just scroll in on that. Um, it's preloaded my search in Symaxis with 91228 from my library. So we've got some, we've got some results here. This is the column I'm interested in. If it says it's got an ECAD model, then I can use this straight away. Um, if it says build request, you can submit a build request to them and they turn them around really quick, um, usually between 24 and 48 hours. You can expedite that should you wish if you pay a small fee via PayPal. I think. Um, anyway, so if I were to click on one of these links, let's just do it. I'll click on this. It's going to take us to stock uh, availability and pricing from all the major distributors. So. Uh, Mauser, Digikey, RS, Farnell, etc. If I go back to my search results, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the ECAD model. It gives us a preview and we can select download. It's asking me to log in because I've not logged in on this session. Right, what it's asking me here is do I want to open this or save it because you can search for these devices in the library as well. Um, if you're searching for devices in the schematic or the PCB you, ha you have the option to add them straight to your cursor for automatic placement. So I'm just going to say open. Okay, all the naming conventions within the Symaxis library, the Symaxis parts, are IPC compliant. So here it's telling me I'm trying to download this footprint, but a pad stack exists in this footprint, but also exists in my library. Because we've got a nice IPC naming convention, I've got every confidence that it's the same. So I'm just going to say map to existing object. Okay, and there you can see we've got the device on our cursor for placement into our schematic environment.